Hey there, it's Jeff from I'll Be In The Garage. Stick with me today. We're gonna to be working on the old Graham Page car and specifically the steering system. All right, we got our Graham Page owner's manual here and I'm gonna to turn to the page regarding steering. And this gives you a pretty good x-ray of how the steering works. You got a shaft coming down from the steering wheel. It's got a worm cut into it. And then you've got this pin here, which is on the shaft. So when you turn the wheel back and forth, it makes this pin go up and down and it turns the steering gear, so pretty simple. What I'm going to be today though is adjusting the throw of this shaft because if there's too much play in the wheel or not enough, you can have problems. So the way you do that, according to the manual is, you open her up and there's these steel shims inside behind a plate and you either take them out or add them. So what I'm doing is I'm taking them out to account for some of the wear on the, uh, the little uh, knurling thing in there, the little nut, and you have to put paper shims or paper gaskets between each of these. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of leaks. So let's go take a look at it and we'll see if we can get it together. All right, I got the plate put on the back here. So back here, I don't know if you can see that or not, that plate went on. It's pushing this way against this cam lever. And that comes out here. And let's see if we've got a little bit of play in the wheel. We should have a couple inches of play or else it's not done right. So, I'll just grab it here. Oh, that actually feels really good. So, you see the wheel moving there. But what you'll notice is, there's a little bit of play, meaning that I can go about, about that much with nothing happening to the wheel. And that's what cars used to be like. That's why when you saw the old movies, some guy was driving down the road doing this, and it seems ridiculous now to watch it, but back then it was true. You had to do that to keep the car going straight. You were always having to adjust it like this. So that's a success. And let me just take a look at this here. This is called steering box lube. This is the actual grease that you put into this box and it's kind of halfway between oil and grease. Grease wouldn't really do anything. It would just stick to certain areas. Oil would be too thin, it wouldn't really provide enough protection, so I had to get this special stuff. So I'm just gonna grab a funnel, and we're gonna fill this sucker up from the hole there, and then we're gonna put the end plate on. Well, first I gotta put the end plate on. Then I'll fill it up, and then we'll give it another test and see if it works. Okay, like I told you, this steering box fluid is a little weird. Let's see what the consistency is. Ooh, it's kind of like a thin, grease or a thick oil. I hope that's going to go down in there. This is like ketchup coming out of a bottle. Now, you know what? I'm going to fill it like that and I'm going to leave it for five minutes and see if it makes its way down in there. All right, she's getting in there a bit at a time, but I'm having to use this uh, piece of zip tie here to kind of coax it in. So you've got to turn the wheel back and forth to find a groove in the gear. Oh, it's going in there. Oh, that works. Get it going right in there. All right, I finally coaxed all that uh, grease in there and it said fill up to the level of the filler plug. So you can see it's right there. All I gotta do now is coax this weird cover into going into it. Hopefully it won't leak. I don't think it will. This stuff is not like oil. It doesn't just pour out. I could put a piece of Teflon tape on there I guess but well I'll watch it for a while and see if it leaks anyways I think that's it for the day as far as the car goes I got other stuff I gotta do but uh yeah I'm very happy the uh oh it's smooth oh it's smooth oh yeah ha <laughs> ha all right I'm very happy that the steering's working properly now next time I think I'm going to be working on the cooling system so that should be interesting I've had the radiator record, I've had this new steel plate built here, but a lot of things have to be done to make it work. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll see you soon.